Hey, pushing my way through another recap. This one is for Real Housewives of Orange County, Season 9, Episode 7, Choklahoma. So we have four basic storylines going on this episode. First off, uh, Tamara discovers that her son is uh, taking human growth hormones. And she's like, are you getting it from a doctor? And he's like, no. She's like, are you, you know, where are you getting it? From a parking lot? And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's it, from a parking lot. So my guess is he's getting it from someone at Cut Fitness and just doesn't want to out his friend. So he like hopped onto the parking lot theory. And he's like, no, no, it's fine. It's still in all its packaging. It has serial numbers. I'm good. And she's like, are you going? She goes, no, no. Let me take you to my anti-aging doctor and let him talk to you. So they go in, they see the doctor. The doctor's like, do you, is, it, is it doc, you know, did you get any blood work done before you did this? And he's like, no. And he's like, is there a doctor supervising it? No. And it's like, well, we really should take some blood, see where you're at before you do this. I mean, it's just, it's just kind of crazy. That's kind of a given. So storyline one. Storyline two, Vicky goes out to Oklahoma to look at houses and is basically codependent and emotionally unhealthy the whole time. So she's telling Brianna that she should leave her husband like in front of him and stay with her until she has a baby or maybe she should just stay there all the time and she can go visit. It's just kind of ridiculous and it's just unbelievably, just checking, unbelievably unhealthy and painful to watch. Storyline two. Storyline three, we see Lizzie. Lizzie goes to the park with Heather. They have a play date. They kind of talk a little bit more about Chairgate. So over it. Okay, then we see Lizzie and Danielle go to Shannon's to learn how to put on makeup, which would have been cool if we actually saw any of that. Instead, somehow it gets brought up that Lizzie had hung out with Heather, and Shannon's like, oh, really? What did you discuss? What did you talk about? And Lizzie did a pretty good job of not throwing... Um, Heather under the bus. She's like, well, you know, we talked about things and the party and the hoedown. It did her best to kind of enjoy, uh, to, uh, she did her best to avoid talking about it directly, even though I'm sure the producers are always encouraging the women to discuss their feelings and to communicate and stuff like that. Anyway, we hear more about Chairgate from Shannon's point of view. Uh, we also get to see Lizzie talk to her sister about wanting a third baby. And that's storyline three. The last storyline is Chairgate, the never-ending drama. And, of course, it's more than just Chairgate. It's also the, the throwdown at the hoedown. It's also everything Heather's ever said to Shannon and vice versa. Anyway, let me. Uh, Heather calls Shannon, says, let's go out to eat. They meet up, and I can sum it up. They don't like each other. That's all they can really say. They nitpick each other. Neither one will give an inch. I like Heather a lot. Shannon's kind of already... I, I, Shannon's hanging out with Vicky. I don't find Vicky amusing. I don't find Shannon with Vicky really all that amusing. I think she's really not very good to her husband, I find. so. But that doesn't mean... I, I don't want to just automatically say Heather's 100% right and Shannon's 100% wrong. Because neither one of them will give an inch. They need to just like go to their separate corners and just do the best they can to avoid each other. You guys don't like each other? Okay, cut each other some slack. Let's be realistic. Shannon's late. Heather should have just zipped her lip and not said anything. When Tamara's talking to her about being late, Heather should have taken the high road and just not mentioned it. Same thing for with Shannon. Shannon should have just said, I'm really sorry, Heather, I didn't know, and left it at that. Either way would have been better than this back and forth drama. That's just my opinion. I don't find this really all that compelling of a storyline. I am over this, over this. Let them do a fashion show. Let them start a new business. I don't care. Just something else other than we saw the entire season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills with this. Now we just go straight to OC. We went to first we went to New York, and that's all I saw there. I can barely stand it. Now we're here. I'm over it. Maybe I've just moved. Maybe I've matured, but that's really doubtful. Anyway, I will see you guys soon.